Tens of thousands of Ethiopians and foreign dignitaries gathered in Addis Ababa to mourn and give a final send-off to the late Mele Zenawi. Deputy Prime Minister Haile Mariam Dessalen is currently acting as Prime Minister. It remains unclear when he will be sworn in, but Ethiopian officials say no fresh elections are planned. His coffin draped in the Ethiopian flag Mele Zenawi's body slowly processed through the Ethiopian capital, followed by giant crowds from the National Palace to the vast Mesquite Square, his family dressed in black, following in tears. This was the first state funeral staged for a leader of the Horn of African country in more than 80 years. Prayers were held by religious leaders from Ethiopia's Orthodox Church, dressed in flowing embroidered robes. Ethiopia's Deputy Prime Minister, who will be sworn in as the new Prime Minister and serve until 2015, welcomed the many dignitaries in attendance. Presidents from all of Ethiopia's neighbors, Kenya, South Sudan, Sudan, Djibouti and Somalia, all attended, with the exception of Eritrea, whose relations with Ethiopia remain strained following a long drawn out border war. His charm, his intellect, his passion for Africa's development, his passion for a stronger, peaceful, stable Africa is unmatched. Personally, my country and I know the rest of Africa have lost a great person. Uh, it reminds us of uh, everything is stood for, for for all of us and the fight that we always joined him to uh, fight on for. So now we died in a Belgium hospital on August 20th following a long illness. He had not been seen in public for a couple of months, sparring rumors over his health. There had been fears that his death will ignite a succession battle, but the government says it will abide by the constitution. Zenawi was buried at the Holy Trinity Cathedral in the capital, Addis. Wabat Magela, CCTV.